Welcome to our lesson about working with layout sketches. Let's begin with a new part document. And let's take a home view. And let me just pan my view a little bit. First, I'm going to insert a rectangle. Let's activate the rectangle tool. It's going to be my base. Let's just drop it about here. Now let's dimension it at 2 by 3 inches. OK. And 3 this way. Accept. Let's exit this sketch. Next, I'm going to insert a second sketch on the XY plane. Activate the Project Geometry tool. Let's project this point here. And let's insert a second rectangle. Let's make it equal. And dimension it. One inch side. OK. And here's our second sketch. Let's finish. And let's insert a third sketch now on the XY plane. Right click, New Sketch. Let's project geometry. We'll take this line and this line. Circle. And we'll apply a tangent relation. Again, the cylinder in line for a tangent relation here. Let's dimension the circle, one inch in diameter. OK, and let's exit this sketch. Now we've got three separate sketches that we're going to use to create parts. Let's rename our sketches. Sketch 1 I'm going to call base. That's the big rectangle. The second sketch we'll call block. And the third sketch we're going to call cylinder. Now let's deselect everything by clicking in blank space in the graphic area. Save the part. We're going to call it layout sketch. And let's click Save. Now let's create a new assembly document. Let's save it also to begin with, accepting the default name. And let's start by creating a component. The first component we're going to call Base. The template we'll use, the standard imperial template, is just fine. OK, and let's select a plane now, the XY plane. Finish the sketch. We don't need this sketch one here, let's delete that. Notice that I did select the same plane where my original layout sketch was created. Now let's go to the Manage tab. And let's click on Derive. Open our folder, Lesson 24. Select the Layout Sketch file and click Open. Let's expand the Sketches folder and select the Base. OK. OK again. Now let's go to the Model tab. Activate the Extrude command. We'll create a quarter inch extrusion. OK. Now we've got our base, and as you can see, the base is grounded. Now let's insert a second component. We'll return to the assembly. Click the Create tool. This component we'll call Block. The template, standard.ipt. OK, and I'm also going to select the XY plane. Finish the sketch. And let's right click and delete Sketch 1 here. Now back to the Manage tab, Derive, Lesson 24, Layout Sketch, Open. This time we'll use the block. Let's unselect the base and click OK. Back to the Model tab, Extrude command. Let's make a half inch extrusion. Click OK. And here's our second part. Let's return to the assembly. Now if I move this part, it's going to freely move. To prevent it from moving, we can right-click on it and select Grounded, since this part's already in the correct spot. 
Let's go ahead and create one more component now. Click on the Create tool. We're going to call it Cylinder. Template will be standard. It'll be located in the folder for Lesson 24. OK. Let's select the XY plane. And finish the sketch. Now let's delete Sketch 1. And go to the Manage tab. Derive. The item I'm going to use is the cylinder, so we'll exclude both block and base. OK, and OK again. And as you see, the sketch is positioned in the correct location. Let's go to the Model tab, Extrude, 1 inch, OK. Return to our assembly. Once again, to prevent the part from moving, we can ground it. Right click on Cylinder 1 and select Grounded. Now let's return to the layout sketch and let's modify our part a little bit. For example, let's make this dimension 3 inches. Update. Let's return to the assembly. Update. And as you can see, the part updates appropriately and this component remains in the correct location. Let's return to the layout sketch. And now let's figure out how we can incorporate parameters in our layout sketch. Let's double click on this dimension. Let's select this dimension and divide it by 2. The dimension name we're editing is D2. Accept. Let's go to the Manage tab. Parameters. And let's rename D2. We're going to call it Length. Now let's check this parameter for export. Done. And let's return to our assembly. And as you see, the size of our block has changed. Now let's double click on block 1. Let's right click on the layout sketch and select Edit Derived Part. Go to Parameters, select the Length parameter, and click OK. Let's double click on Extrusion 1. Let's select List Parameters. And here we've only got one parameter length. Let's select it. And let's just delete the rest of the values in this field. And click OK. Let's exit and return to our assembly. Now let's change this dimension to 2 inches. OK. And update. Assembly. Update here as well. As you see, the position of the cube follows the dimension of the base. As well, the size of the block is linked to the size of the base. This concludes our lesson about using a layout sketch.